Hello everyone, in this video, you will look at four examples of limits of trigonometric functions. As usual, when you want to compute limits, what you need to do, the first thing is to substitute x here into x. If you have y here, you substitute into y. If you have a coconut tree approaches something, you should replace or substitute this value into the coconut tree. What important if you are dealing with trigonometric function is make sure your calculator is in mode radian. Usually, you will see R. Okay, so the first step, as usual, when you want to solve limit or to compute limit, substitute into the variable from here. X, so make sure you substitute to X. Okay, in this case, you substitute everything, you get pi plus X is approaching pi over 2. So you put pi over 2 here. Cos pi over 2 over this one. 2 pi over 2 minus sine pi over So, this one is equal pi plus pi over 2 is 90 degree. Cos pi over 2 is equal to 0. So, pi over 2 times 0 over this one, 2 divided by 2, you get 1. So, pi minus sine pi over 2. Sine 90 degree is equal to 1. Uh, this one is equal to pi over pi minus 1. Please note that after we substitute x with pi over 2, we have removed limit. No more limit here. Second example. Find the limit or compute the limit of sine 5x over sine 4x when x approaching 0. If we substitute 0 into the equation, we get sine 5 times 0 is 0 over sine 4 times 0 is 0. If you do this, you get 0 over 0. So, this is not possible. Okay. But you have a formula limit x approaching 0 sine star over star. This one should be the same. So, for example, if you have sine 5x. In here, 5x, the answer is 1. It doesn't matter. Sin 5x over 5x or limit approach 0, 5x over sin 5x. The answer is 1. It's the same. So, in this case, you need to... Uh, change this so that it will become in this form. Like this. So, this is your magic power. Okay. I rewrite it. X approaches 0. Okay. Uh, maybe we need some space. Sine 5x. 
we need to have sin 5x over 5x so that it will become 1. So, what we need to do is for this one, the first part, sin 5x, you must add 5x. Because you want it to become 1. But, in reality, there is no 5 here. So, what you need to do, you multiply by 5. 5 times 5 become 1. You add 5 here, you add 5 here. Okay. The other one is, sine 4x because this one 4x you want here 4 x but originally there is no 4 so you divide by 4 4 divide by 4 you get 1 5 divide by 5 you get 1 and what about x x divide by x you get 1 actually this one is equal to this one. Now, what you can do is 5 over 4, this part, we meet x approaches 0, sine 5x over 5x, and this part, limit x approaches 0, 4x over sine 4x. This one become 1. This one also become 1. So the answer is 5 over 4 times 1 times 1 equal to 5 over 4. You remember this? 0, 5x over 5x, x over x or x over sine x. The answer is 1. You divide by 5x. This one you add. You multiply. If you multiply by 4, you divide by 4. This part is very important. Third example. As usual, we substitute this value into x. Because x is approaching 0. So you get 0 over tangent 3 times 0. This one equal to 0 over 0. Oh, and this is impossible. 0 over 0. Okay, so how to compute this limit? You have tangent 3x is equal to sin 3x over cos 3x. Now you remember that limit x approaching 0 of sin 3x over 3x should be 1. You have sin here. Uh, cos 0 is 1. Okay, so you can rewrite this as limit x approaching 0. So x over, so tangent 3x is sin 3x over cos 3x, big one. So this one will become limit x approaching 0, x over sin 3x, this one you can go up, cos 3x. Okay, let's say you substitute 0 into here, cos 0 is 1, oh that's good, but this one, x 3x, like this. So we need to add 3, because this one is 3, we add 3 here, we add 3 here, you divide by 
3. So, you get 1 over 3. This part, according to this formula, become 1. Cos 0 is 1. So, the answer is 1 over 3. Final example. Find the limit of fx plus h minus fx over h as h approaches 0 if fx is cos x. So, what you need to do is just substitute. This one is equal. We substitute limit h approaches 0. This one fx. So, cos x plus h minus fx is cos x. Because x, you put here. So, x plus h, you get this one. This one, x plus h so over h. Your objective to get rid of this h. If you can cancel this h, then it's okay. Because anything divided by 0 is problem. So, this one is limit h approaching 0. So, cos x plus h is cos x cos h minus sin x sin h, oh sorry, minus cos x over h. Okay. Now, you rearrange. So, this one is limit h approaching 0, cos x and cos x. So, cos x, you factor out cos x. This one, cos h minus 1 over h minus sin x sin h over h. This one is equal to 1. And this one is equal to 0. The formula is limit h approaches 0 cos h minus 1 divided by h. This one is equal to 0. And you also have limit h approaches 0 sin h over h. This one is equal to 1. This is the formula, right? So, this one become cos x. We don't care about x because we are talking about h. This part is 0. That's good. Minus sin x. This part is 1. So, 0 minus sin x. So, the answer is minus sin x.